Hey guys, Glockster42. Well, we're out here mule deer hunting. This is uh, start of day one. It's really warm. We're in the upper 20s. It's almost 30 degrees C out here, and that's really warm for this time of the year up in this area. We're up in the western foothills here and haven't seen a darn thing yet. So, uh, you know, being out in the bush is better than being at home anytime, that's for sure. But like I say, it's really, really been warm and dry, and oh boy, the game isn't moving like it would normally be a lot of times this time of the year we'd have snow on the ground already and there's nothing not a hint of snow we've got crystal clear blue skies a little bit of a breeze and uh hot hot temperatures it cooled down quite a bit last night when got out here the day ahead of time got camp set up and we're just getting going ready to get going here so uh we'll do a quick um edc here of what i'm using uh, for this mule deer hunt but for now uh, thanks for coming out guys and we'll have a lot more here uh, in a bit well, here we are on uh, day two of the uh, mule deer hunt. It's the 28th of September and it's about 22 degrees Celsius. Up in the mid 70s, it's really hot for this time of the year. Uh, not quite unseasonably, but we've had a really nice fall and it's been hot and dry. Um, seen one mule deer doe yesterday and that's been it. Not a white tail, not a muley, a uh, few elk sign, some moose sign. Uh, lots of wolf sign, lots of bear sign, but uh, nothing shootable here. So we've just camped out here in this corner here and have got a nice little um, line of approach to the next cut block. I've uh, been out most of the morning. I actually slept in this morning. I was, I was pretty beat from yesterday. I haven't had a good sleep in, in probably about six months. So we got going a little bit later today. It's uh, Wind's coming out swirling around up here in the foothills but uh, there's uh, quite a few quite a bit of uh, tracks in the water holes so I hope we can find something out here so uh, anyway uh, here we are in the middle of day two. Uh oh what's that yeah that's white tail blood on the tailgate well I didn't have any luck with the uh, mule deer buck on this trip but we did manage to snag ourselves a nice little management white tail doe in this area you can get uh, two supplemental white tail tags. Um, I didn't bother getting any footage of it yesterday. You know, it's just a, what a three year old dry doe. Which will go really good in the freezer. Uh, one shot, not about 85 yards with my 165 grain Barnes tip triple shock out of the 308, dropped it in its tracks. Just a high lung shot just under the spine. And uh, yeah, we were able to get her uh, field dressed and back in the truck. Now today it's supposed to be about um, about 10 or 12 degrees out so it's still going to be a little bit warm. I don't want to head back home just uh, just for one little doe and I still can have some mule deer time. So what I've done is I've just thrown a tarp, loosely wrapped a tarp over to keep the uh, keep the um, birds out and then I've set up this little uh, this little uh, piece of uh, astroturf that I carry around in my trailer as a as a shade to keep it out of the direct sunshine when it gets up here so it should stay keep it we're down in a little hollow so it's going to stay a little cooler down here i think and if it gets to a point where it's too warm well then i guess i may have to pack her up this afternoon and hit her back and get this hanging in the cool dark garage but for now there it is so uh at least we got some freezer meat this year all right guys more later